that was when I woke up and when I woke up I saw my mom I was crying I saw my sisters I was crying I saw my brother I was crying like somebody else who said maybe he was asking if I secretly got married oh my god <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vivian Riches and I am a YouTuber based in Abuja, Nigeria. If this is the first time you're stumbling by this page, please don't make it your last by clicking on the subscribe button and also turn on your post notification to get notified when I post. But if this is not your first time, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing a live update with you guys. It's been over four months since I posted, so I thought to make this video to talk to you guys and let you guys know everything that has been going on and my plans moving forward for the year so i don't want this video to be too long i'm just going to dive right into the video now so guys the last time i vlogged and i posted on my youtube channel was in october that was shortly after i came back from morocco so something happened to me and that made me really down for a while i'm still recovering but i i just I just thank God that it wasn't that big it wasn't like it wasn't more than the way it is and I'm just grateful so I had a surgery in October when I came back from Morocco although what well, before I went to Morocco I was I was already having like pains in my lower abdomen so and when I went home after my fair in August I didn't vlog that when I went home after my fair in August I went to I, my mom took me to the hospital i went to do um checkup to find out what was wrong with my stomach and they said i had appendicitis so um that i had to undergo appendicectomy so i didn't at, the, at that moment i was really scared but um i didn't really think about it that much because my family was there for me and i already booked my flight and everything was already set for my trip so i didn't i didn't want to just cancel all of that so i went ahead i traveled to morocco that ended me a bit not to be so free and relaxed to do a lot of the things i wanted to do but nevertheless i had so much fun so when i got back immediately i went home to benin in case you don't know my home is benin um i went home to get the surgery done when i tell you that was the most trying time of my life Oh my god like it was just like i died and i woke up it's not something i can really explain but people that have done it i'm sure they really know what i'm talking about i'm just really grateful that you know um it wasn't it wasn't complicated it didn't rupture my family was there for me my friends they were there for me um for the first few weeks i couldn't shower like for, for the first one week i couldn't shower and i couldn't do anything by myself my sisters oh i love you guys so much they were really there for me um my friends they were really there for me shout out to eva and sweet they were really really there for me during that time so i had like i had a fair in october of course i already did my surgery so i couldn't attend the fair so eva sent she has my spare key by the way so she sent my goods from abuja to port and anowere then sweet traveled from abuja to Owere to help me as a bit and to port as well so that was like that was really that was i don't know what the word is but that was really that was a really good moment for our friendship and i really appreciated them shout out to the rest of my friends so yeah that was what happened to me in october so i didn't really, i couldn't do so much um then in december i came back to abuja for my fair because these fairs i already paid for them ahead of time so there was no way i could just let my money go without coming for the fair so i had to show up so i left um beginning to lagos to exhibit then from there i came to abuja to also exhibit then afterwards i went home then i came back in january that was when i really um I, I was now by myself trying to learn how to be by myself again because i mean i couldn't do so much i couldn't lift stuff i couldn't do exercise and i was eating i got fat hmm like you can't really see how fat i don't know if you can see how fat like i've added so much weight so now i'm just trying to 
I'm just trying to lose weight so I'm on a street diet calorie de deficit to try and lose weight um, but I can't do so much so I just do like Pilates yoga in the house you know until I'm strong enough before I can start going to the gym proper so yeah that was like what happened to me when I got back to Abuja hmm, it was I was should I use the word depressed I was I was just I was really down that's the word I was really down um, I was really down then my face started breaking out it's clearing up gradually but it started breaking out so bad I, I really did not know what was causing that I was getting fat like everything was not just happening you know everything was not just in my favor so but I was still holding on till I felt till I feel mentally capable to start vlogging again which is like this month so that brings me to the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about so I want to try and be consistent with my vlogging I know I've said that <laughs> a lot of times but i want to so i'm going to start like posting once a week i don't know i don't know how i'm going to be doing the videos yet if it's going to be all vlogs but i plan on doing vlogs beauty video then of course travel because you all know i love to travel so uh, those two videos are what you're going to see so much on my channel this year and also um my i vlogged a lot last year but i didn't edit them so i'm going to be posting that in between the present vlogs as well and then what else did i say i was going to share with you guys I, oh guys how are you how are you guys doing i don't know how are you guys doing because the dollar the economy has really been trying everybody business owners how are you guys doing my business has been going well um although the dollar increment affected everybody but i still had goods so i'm still selling in january i went for um i went for a fair in now university so it's good met a lot of gorgeous girls but i didn't vlog i didn't film any of that i didn't even post on my social media then in february i also went to now university so i exhibit some of my products as well then uh, this is March and I have one again starting tomorrow in Bayes University. So that's that. Uh, what else do I want to talk to you guys about? Um, yeah, I'm going to try and edit my Morocco vlog. Um, I still have the clips and I lost some of the clips though. Like I always do. Oh my god. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to do better this year. So I lost some of the clips but I still have like a good number of clips to edit and yeah i'm going to show up for myself a lot this year um and also in january i lost my cousin so that was that also delayed that also joined what delayed me you know to post content that was that was a really shocking news for me because my cousin and i we don't talk all the time but we talk once in a while and you know she she had an accident and she just she just died that was a really sad moment for my family and i in january um january 12th to be precise and we found out on social media we didn't know that was a really down time for my family but anyways we thank god may i so rest in peace and yeah um what else oh my god you guys are so sweet some of you sent me messages on instagram checking up on me wondering why i've not been posting on my social media platform <laughs> Like somebody else said, me he was asking if I secretly got married. Oh my god, <laughs> that was very funny. No, guys, I'm very much single actually. I've been single for over a year now, so yeah, um, I'm not married, I'm not engaged, I'm very much single, but I don't know if I'm ready to mingle yet. But I'm very much single, and I'm just I'm just focusing on God right now. I just know that He has really been there for me since my surgery. You know, when I had my surgery, life like I don't know. I don't I don't know the word to use. Um, I just saw life differently f moving forward. I just knew that God God was God was there for me throughout that time um, because when when they gave me the i don't know it's not epidural the anesthesia for me to sleep off at my back when they gave it to me and i slept off i didn't really sleep off i was awake but i was not conscious of what was going on so it was like i was i was not 
on this earth i was in a space that i know i knew nothing about i, I just cannot explain it but i was in a i was in a different place then when the surgery was done that was when i woke up and when i woke up I saw my mom, I was crying, I saw my sisters, I was crying, I saw my brother, I was crying, I saw my niece, I was just crying. I, di I didn't even know why I was crying, but I was just crying and I was just so grateful that I came back alive and I didn't, I didn't, my enemy did not die along the line. I was so grateful, so, you know, the surgery just shifted my perspective about life and I'm just going to serve God forever and ever. I'm just going to focus on God and just try and build my businesses. Okay, guys, I didn't tell you guys as well. So I just started a cleaning service company as well called Scrubbits.ng. Um, I started it in January. So in case you are in Abuja and you are looking for um, a company to fumigate, to clean, post-construction cleaning, deep cleaning, um, cleaning of your rugs and your couch, just hit me up. I'll keep. I'll put my Instagram handle on the screen and my number as well, and my Instagram handle on the screen and my email address to send me a message to book us, so you guys can just so we can clean your space for you guys. So yeah, that's that's that, and um, yeah, I'm just so grateful. Um, I'm going to try and be consistent this year again i don't want this video to be too long it's already 11 minutes so i'm going to try and be consistent this year um try and do more weekly vlogs i don't I, because i used to always think that my vlogs have to be perfect although i'm really over my space my space is very small i need a bigger space if it's a one bedroom or a two bedroom um i'm going to work towards that this year hopefully i don't know i don't know my plans this year they are not so straightforward i just i'm just leaning on god i'm just letting god take the lead and take the wheel and just direct and orchestrate my path for me because really there's no life without god like you can't plan because when you plan god just look at you and be like you're planning you don't even know what i have for you so i'm just letting god take the wheel so i have my plans and my goals in check but if god tells me that what i planned is not what he wants for me i'm just going to listen to him and just follow his own path for me so yeah um um, I'm just going to show up. Uh, I don't care if my vlogs are not if my vlogs are not perfect. I'm just going to show up for myself. Um, yeah. Um, what else? Um, if there's anything else that I didn't say in this video, I'll be posting after I post this video. I'll be posting a vlog next. I'll just impute this in that video and the videos moving forward. So. So guys, this is the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification to get notified when I post and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.